Hey, and welcome back to Ambition Strikes, where we're heading into fall, which means that winter is coming. We've got lumber, we've got trusses, and you've probably already guessed it, we're building an equipment shed to get all of our stuff undercover before the snow starts falling. While the 330 excavator was here, I cut in a building site down the hill down here that's gonna be great for this shed, but it's not quite big enough and we need to raise it up a little bit. So let's start digging. This project all started when this set of trusses popped up on Craigslist for a great price. The previous owner changed his mind on his project, but they're gonna be perfect for us. Let me show you the plan. As you can probably tell by now, I love shipping containers and I've always loved the idea of a shipping container shop. We're gonna set two 40 foot high cube shipping containers, one here, and one over here. And we're gonna set those 24 foot trusses across the top of the inner walls and the frame out the end is rafters. That's gonna give us a 40 by 40 covered area with container wings on each side to add to the storage. This is gonna let us get our skid steer, the excavator, all the implements, our log splitter, our four wheeler, basically everything that's left outside all winter undercover and protected. Prices on 40 foot containers have really come down over the last year or so. Plus we picked up the trusses used and we're gonna use the lumber that we milled for the rest of the roof structure, which should get our total budget on this project for less than $15,000. I've been trying to save this tree, but unfortunately there's just not enough space and it's gonna have to go. All right, now that the tree's down, we're gonna bucket into logs that we'll save for firewood and throw the top on the burn pile. I literally put my chainsaw chaps on backwards. The containers are scheduled to show up tomorrow, so I've got to get to work prepping this pad and getting it to finished grade. All right, according to my eye, we're getting close on this pad, but I don't think my eye is good enough for this one. So we're gonna bust out the laser and see what we're looking like before I really start trying to get this thing smooth. I also went ahead and I cut a ditch around the uphill side all the way around. It's gonna exit back there. That's gonna allow all the runoff in the springtime from the snow melt to be able to go around the building and out rather than across the front of the building where we drive in and out or underneath the building. And as we've been going, I've also been picking out the big rocks and stacking them up on this bank to kind of help shore it up and hopefully stop some erosion. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking for sort of the average across this pad because that's gonna be the finished grade on this pad. Okay, four foot 10. So now the question is how different is it from here to over in that corner over there? This spot right here is six inches higher than where I first started. This spot is one inch low. This is like three inches high. My favorite food groups are pizza, ice cream, and pizza. And that's why I've added a new ritual to my routine. Once a day, all I have to do is take these two capsules and I get 10 high quality nutrients that I'm probably not getting enough of, including vitamin A, vitamin D, omega-3, and zinc. Ritual is all about transparency. There are no additives, fillers, or colorants. And the delayed release capsule means that they're easy on my empty stomach. 
And the fact that it gets delivered straight to my door means that I actually remember to take it. Whatever your life stage, Ritual has products to support your health. So maybe you're like me and you're looking to fill in some gaps in your diet, or maybe you're looking to solidify a healthy foundation for your body. Either way, it's probably time to try out a new Ritual. And right now, Ritual is offering 30% off your first month. You can scan my QR code on the screen or head to ritual.com forward slash ambition strikes 30. And thanks again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. This is water from our shallow well. If you haven't seen the video of us installing a shallow well here on the property, go check that one out. We've had our shallow well up and running now for about two weeks and it's been able to consistently pump between two and a half to three gallons per hour out of the ground, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it sure starts adding up. And right now we have almost 900 gallons of stored water right here on site, ready to use. So let's use it. We were getting really close on this pad and I think it's time to measure it all out and lay it out before we do our final grade check. This building is gonna pretty much consume this entire pad. I think I'm calling that good. I mean, for our purposes, this pad is level and it's flat. Containers get here tomorrow, so we'll see you then. I cannot believe that we just got a 40 foot container up to our house. Stuff like this just makes all of that road work we did so worth it because now we can actually do stuff like this. So I told the company that we bought this thing from that it was gonna be a little tight getting in here and getting turned around. And he said, well, do you think we should send one of the shed trailers that can pivot around on its own? This thing is so cool. This driver's being super cool. He's like, well, how far back do you want it? I said, as far back as you can get it. He says, no, tell me how far you want it. What was a 40 foot trailer just became like a 16 foot trailer and the container just practically unloaded itself. That was so cool. Unlike when we got that container delivered. Oh, he's stuck. container at the bottom of our property. That's not where we wanted it. <laughs> Why do we always do this stuff in the rain? This container is a lot closer to where we need it to be and it's not raining, but we do have a second container on the way, so we need to get this one moved into place. Okay, I think we have a plan in place for how to get this container from there down there. I'm gonna be up here on the skid steer and Riley's gonna be down there on the excavator and hopefully this works. Riley just looked at me and asked if I think the excavator can pick up the shipping container, but I thought you thought that, that's why we're doing this. <laughs> You think, you thought that I thought that I had a plan? Also... Woo! Now we need to make sure that the skid steer can pick up this side of the container. 
for our plan to work. Here we go. Wish us luck. We made it! Oh my gosh. I can't believe that worked. Oh my goodness. One container in place? It's huge. Yeah. So according to I used to live in a 40 foot high cube container and I kind of forgot how big they are. Oh, nice. This one also opens a lot better than our other one. Here we go. Can you believe that we used to live in one of these? This is where we've lived for the last year or so. It used to be a big barbecue and a patio set. Sold them. Come on in. Reclining couch. This TV is on a pivot. Two bar stools so we can eat with each other. Nice spacious kitchen. These are the concrete counters we poured. Big sink. With these huge drawers, there's tons of storage. Over here we have a coffee bar and then a big pantry. The apartment sized refrigerator pretty much holds everything we need. So in here we have a normal flushing toilet. A tiled shower with a cool shower panel. Floating vanity with full storage, as well as a medicine cabinet, also with tons of storage. People always ask us, where do we keep our clothes? This is our closet. It's mostly cleared out right now. And then seasonal clothes that we're not wearing right now, we can store in these cabinets over here above the bed. So we've got a full king bed in here, just squeezed in. We can't really get around the sides. We just kind of climb over. Well, that's it for today. We'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when hopefully we're taking delivery of our second container. We're a little stalled as we wait for that second container to show up for our container project. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to keep getting ahead on winter. Our road last winter wasn't ready for a snowblower at all. There were huge boulders in the middle of it, rocks. We were constantly sucking rocks into this thing and clogging it. And then like on the second time out, this happened. The side plate on the mainframe bent so bad that this blade on the auger started digging into it and cutting the mainframe. Additionally, now this bearing support block is bent it's become pretty clear that I'm not going to be able to straighten it out by just hitting it with a hammer. But I think I've got an idea. This might be a really bad idea. Here we go, guys. Really bad idea. Take one.
I went too far. I think we're gonna call that straight enough. So now that I've gotten things straightened out and put back together, the plan is to reinforce this so that hopefully this never happens again. All right, well, the snowblower is fixed and stronger than ever, and we are one step closer to being ready for winter. I got a call from the delivery driver that he should be here any minute. He ended up getting stuck in traffic, so he's a few hours behind schedule. But I think that's actually a good thing in this case because the rain has stopped, and hopefully this area right here has had time to dry up so he doesn't get stuck in the mud but this could turn into a disaster. So far so good. The truck is not sinking in the mud, but we also decided not to back quite as far down the hill as the last container to avoid tearing things up. Second container delivered. We are back at it today. The goal is to get this container into place and hopefully it goes as smoothly as the last one. We'll see. that one down went very smooth and I am really stoked. This is gonna be a big covered spot. Yeah. Getting the containers down here was the first step, but I also feel like it was the motivation that I needed to keep working on this project. It's been a lot of fun watching this dream in my head starting to become a reality and I just can't wait to start setting the roof trusses. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Ritual again for sponsoring this video. If you're like me and you'd like to keep eating that pizza but also balance your nutrients, scan the QR code or head to ritual.com forward slash ambition strikes 30 for 30% off your first month today. I like the minty smell.